Dorothy Gale had heard stories about the Wicked Witch of the West, but nothing could have prepared her for the horror that awaited her in the Land of Oz. As she walked down the yellow brick road with her companions, the sky grew darker and more oppressive. The trees around them twisted and rift like living things, and the air was thick with the stench of decay. Suddenly, a figure stepped out from the shadows, the witch herself. Her skin was as black as coal, and her eyes burned with a malevolent light. Her voice was like a thousand snakes hissing in unison, and Dorothy felt her heart turn to ice. The witch unleashed a barrage of dark magic, summoning twisted creatures from the depths of the underworld to do her bidding. Dorothy and her companions fought bravely, but the creatures were too strong, too numerous. As they retreated, they stumbled upon a village of munchkins, but even here, there was no safety to be found. The once peaceful munchkins had been corrupted by the witch's magic, their bodies twisted and deformed into grotesque, half-human monsters. Dorothy and her companions were hunted relentlessly, their every move tracked by the witch's minions. They found themselves trapped in a nightmare world, where nothing was as it seemed and every shadow held a new terror. Finally, they came face to face with the witch herself, who had transformed into a towering, monstrous form. Her eyes blazed with a fierce, otherworldly light, and her power was absolute. Dorothy and her companions fought with all their strength, but it was no use. The witch was too powerful, too relentless, and in the end, they were all consumed by the darkness that had taken hold of Oz. As they fell into the witch's clutches, they realized that they had been trapped in a nightmare world, a place where there was no escape from the horrors that surrounded them. And as they felt their minds slip away, they knew that they would be lost forever, their souls consumed by the darkness that had taken hold of the land of Oz.